Hello, everybody. We are back in Civilization 6. And the last time I showcased this game on the channel, we did a permadeath deity series. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. Uh, I did say maybe we would try this on on a mortal, but we are going to try again on deity. So have low expectations. We are going to play on standard. Maximum disasters. Right, we're going to go to advanced setup. We're also going to push the city states up as high as they'll go. Because I have heard on deity, the AI likes to take away city states. So that's it really. That is the settings. The only conditions we are not going to allow is we're not going to be Scotland. Because again, we don't play that until I'm good enough. Uh, duplicate sieves. I don't really care. Uh, the only other thing is we're not going to play as Sweden, because that is how we got our arses handed to us last game. So, as long as it's not these two sieves, we are good to go. We'll be waiting and seeing, and also the audio will be cut from the introduction, because that gives us copyright strikes. So just the audio, uh, you'll still be able to see everything. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sweden, we need a reroll. Go on, bugger off. You didn't even reach 100 turns. Annoyingly, that is a much better start than the last time we played Sweden. We've got the lake, lots of nice tiles nearby. Uh, three production, twice. Plus three food, not far away. Crabs, sheep, even this cattle would be in source. But we mentioned we've already done Sweden. It's a reroll. So if I hit restart, hopefully it'll be a new sieve. Uh huh. Right, we have got Javerman, the seventh. And I'm not, like, he's a good sieve for peace, much like Sweden was. Um, his benefits will only come into effect if we last long enough to build a holy site, which I don't even think I managed last time. Extra housing, beneficial. Extra amenity is beneficial. But this is deity. And if the last game's taught us anything, my strategy has to be build an army. There can be no other strategy other than build a damned army. Um, as for where to settle, I could, I'm tempted to settle straight on the stone, and I think it would give me the stone. Uh, this is a nice tile to work immediately with the deer on it. Um, but there's not much else in the way of production. I'm, well, at least not in my inner ring, on my outer ring, there's lots. We also have the river and the mountains. I do want to be on the river. Settling in between the mountains, it might provide a little bit of defence. Although, I want to go up to the north to have a look at what's up here. Extra food. Um, still no production though. And production is going to be very, very important. I'm going to settle on the stone. I need the production, and then I need another two productions in a nearby tile. And that is the only way I think we can start this off. I'm hoping it gives me the stone. I guess I'll find out. So straight away, anchor Tom. 
it is working to food to production and it's got an extra production in the city itself. Last time we got absolutely hammered. So we are going to be building a military. Uh, what am I going to, what do you need? You need mining. I think this is going to be the next tile to unlock. Failing that, it'll be the, the deer tile. Let's have a look here. It doesn't tell me what's going to be unlocked next. Let's go mining. After a turn, it'll tell me which, which way my, my borders are going to grow, I think. Production, warrior, or slinger, slinger. Slingers can be updated to archers if I can get the right materials. Oh, we've got desert down here actually, that may not be too fruitful. It may not matter. Right, our water sources opening up. We have a city-state. Hopefully they will be nice to us. Two city-states. So that is a start to envoys and a start to our era score. Hopefully it means slightly more defense as well. Two of these orders. So fairly secure that up north, barbs shouldn't be too big of an issue. And surely no one's going to be settling between me and the city-states. Which means our threats are probably going to come from west, east or south. Lots of, is it rainforest or is it just forest? It is rainforest tiles. And grassland. Oh, extra sil- oh, it's gypsum actually, not silver. I'm going to start coming in a big circle with the warrior. And we are going to go for second warrior. The last game just really made me think so much that we need defence and bloody hell game. Is deity not going to be difficult enough? I am right on a major flood. At least it's not improved tiles. Oh, there's a barb camp and he's already half dead, which means someone has been knocking the ever loving out of him. Cross the river next turn with you. I wonder if we'll be able to get in this camp cheekily or not. No, nope, someone's still fighting him. Don't know who it is. If they come into the camp square, surely we'll meet them. Well, I don't think they've I don't think they've won. I think the barbs have beaten them. If I can go over there. Oh no, the camp's destroyed. It's a cad. Uh, it's not a city state. That is somewhat unfortunate. More flooding. Okay, fair. Silver linings. Maybe it means other people will not want to settle near me. So far, so good in terms of Surviving, surely because I've not met anyone in the first 10 turns. Maybe I should be thinking about a settler. But that was my mistake last game. Goody hut down here, that is got to be your next move. And we have, is it Brazil or you Spain? You are Pedro the second of Brazil. I made this mistake. Oh, piss. Genghis Khan. 
хойно минь монголын хүчих Now, last game I played, oh, more flooding, that's the same flood. When you find yourself in a hole. Last time we played this, I found two sieves, and I went, oh, they don't look like a threat. Oh, they look dangerous. And the one that didn't look like the threat are the ones that absolutely hammered me. So, I'm watching you, Brazil. And I'm going to be watching you. I'm going to be producing a few more armies. I also want to keep my units close to my city. So that we can... Oh, I've just noticed. We expanded towards the deer, not the gypsum. And that's mining just finished, as opposed to the animal husbandry. So we'll do that next. Plus, plus one population, that's good. That means we will be working another tile here. And we've gone for food, which means we'll grow. Oh, I would rather have the production though. Yep, we'll work our three highest production tiles, as well as another slinger. It might even be a case that I initiate the war, who knows? Barbs. It'd be nice to kill them, just to get some experience. I'm south of this warrior. I am still going to explore, but I'm not going to go too far. And everything I have right now... We might kill this unit, I'm not sure. Everything I have is going into defence. That's the one area which I... really made a big fault last time. We seem to be in the land of gypsum. Nothing else. Something else I might want to be wary of is just looking for settlers from both Brazil and from Mongolia. We will take delegation. We still want to try and suck up as much as we can. I guess I'm not going to be able to kill this unit because he's attacked Brazil. Not my turn yet. Oh, he's still alive! That is best. Right. Protection against barbs, and we'll start getting some faith. I would go for the production based on last time's learnings, apart from the fact our Siv's ability is so faith-focused that I feel, if I live, Pantheon would be good. Right, I'm not going to be able to explore much to the, the east with Brazil being there. We'll just go a little bit to the south. Jade from this city, they've got a builder up and running. We are going for... Hmm... I do like foreign trade, but craftsmanship is the defensive What on earth have I done to piss you off? They just don't like me. Okay. Okay. I... I see. So I think it's you I need to be worried of, is it? If you produce a settler and it starts to come along this river, I think I might just swat you. Or... 
be swatted by you. Um, stay in the running. Do I need a worker? What have I got? One, two, three, four warrior units. Well, four combat units. It's not enough, I don't think. It certainly wouldn't have been enough last game. Let's go for one more slinger. There's an awful lot of empty space down to the south. I wonder where the top of the map is. Yeah, I think we're quite low on the map. That is holding uh, the Alt key to rotate. Yeah, we're quite far south. Although it's not tundra, it's desert. Anyway, moving on a turn. Gold's going up. What are the costs to purchase units? Can already buy a fighty unit. Not. I'm only three turns off being able to buy a builder. Let's see how these turns go. Right, there's no point going beyond Brazil at this stage, because if I need to combat, I'm only going to have to run back. What was that noise? Barbs. Right there. Okay, it's good in the respect I might get some experience. And that would be the only good reason. Well, the only good reason it's good. Um, the Slinger can keep an eye on Brazil. If there are no dogs in heaven. Okay, we're going to get another Slinger. That would be five combat units. Next turn, I'm going to buy a worker. So I can hopefully start to speed up my game. We can straight up attack the barbs. And I'm quite sure they can't be killed in one more turn, so we should be safe from Mongolia clearing the camp out. Hopefully I clear this next time, I get 50 gold, experience to my units, and all will be well. Let's push you near the scout, because we we'll want to put some damage on you as well. Cross the river with this slinger, get a little bit more of the map filled out. Archer should be next so I can upgrade my slingers to archers. Followed by the words, I think. Okay, should be able to kill this encampment. Oh, it did get killed in one turn. It's good for my era score as well. Now, I'm not going to attack the scout yet. Hopefully Mongolia will. And then next turn, I annihilate him with all three of my nearby units. I mentioned buying a builder, so we'll build a settler and buy the builder. I do still have five units. Three out of the five are still full health. The wicked king pursued I don't know the what lovers Juan under. and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he Chocolate overtook Hills. them, Maria flung well, down her ring. I believe a wonder. And... I'm sure I also saw in the uh, little movie that played, Brazil's borders were on it. So Brazil have obviously used their settlers further away from me. That is good. If I get my settler out, it might go by the wonder. I'm going to use this slinger as a scout to see if there's any water nearby. 
there's no water, it probably isn't going to be the case. Just clearing my notifications. Oh, come on, what have I done to you? Oh, once again, absolutely nothing. You just don't like me. Is it because I killed the barbs? Right. Regardless, I do need to focus on my game. Um, why? Oh, it's just movement. We're going to get the, the deer resource first, followed by the gypsum. Then we'll see if we can sell things. We're going to carry on knocking the daylight out of this wee ball bag. Got promotion in the warrior. That is good. This warrior is going to fortify until healed. The promotion should heal this one next turn, but it will take a turn. Doesn't look like there is water by Chocolate Hills. Um, the slinger. Let's make your way into this gap. There's not a great deal else in my immediate surroundings that I want to scout, so let's just get eyes a little bit wider next time. There's a good few Mongolian units, I think at least three, and similar for Brazil. Let's take this promotion. We will go with Melee combat strength. I think that's almost full health. It's good enough for me. Can I not build something on the deer? I might have made a terrible cock up there. Alright, we'll do this mine next just so I'm not losing too many turns. There's a goodie hut there. It would be just my luck if Brazil came in to swipe it, but I think setting on those chocolate hills is not yet an option. You go there next time. Hopefully my money increases enough to upgrade my slingers into archers. Oh, we have a relic. Won't help us for a while, I don't... Th oh, does it give us the faith now? I think it does. That is good. We like faith. Slinger, come and watch Mongolia. They've got a settler. And they don't like me. Is it is it time to declare war? I'm thinking we gun it towards that settler and kill it. I'm scared and nervous, but I feel I have to. I feel I have to. You're a good few turns away, but we'll get you back. Change the production of this city to another slinger. It's going to be a war. I've decided. Oh, wait, no, Brazil. Brazil are coming round. Oh, right. Let's just wait and see who declares war on me. Settler is down the river. I want you to stay garrisoned. Yes, I need to fight off Brazil. It's getting difficult. I'll keep you as a wee trio. A demand. 
Yes, you definitely want some more. Gold would be nice, but no thank you. You may have to resort to other demands. Right, how long have I been recording for? Just about half an hour. I am going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. We have just refused Mongolia's trade for the relic. They've just expanded very close to me. They have their units embarking on my units, plus Brazil's units are narrowing in as well. So I'm feeling that a war is coming. Guys, join me again next time, and we'll see if I last any longer than I did in my last game. Uh, we shall hit save. Keep yourself safe, guys, and we will catch you soon. Thank you.